Hello, Bioneer House. Hi, Discovery House. Hi, Endeavour House. Hello, Voyager House. Hi guys, so the house team are back with their last virtual assembly of this term um, and we're here with an update on our skills challenge. So we've all been taking part in trying to improve our skills, there's been a few minor injuries, a few broken windows, but we're all still here to tell the tale and stay tuned in for our video update that will come along at the end. So we get some feedback from you guys, so Pioneer House, how have you managed to get on? Yeah, I really enjoyed this challenge. Um, I did have a few attempts. I did fail a couple of times, but pretty resilient, all on, all by, you know. And I think actually by the end of it, my last aeroplane went pretty far, if I don't say so myself. So, uh, Endeavour House, how have you found the skills challenge? Yeah, really well. I think I've used quite a few of the Loric skills. So, uh, I definitely showed organisation, resilience, and initiative. Uh, the plate did fly off a few times and hit me in the head, but I'm still here to tell the tale. Uh, I think it's gone well. Voyager House, how about you? Right, well, I found it really, really difficult. Um, but I showed some resilience and I kept on practising. Um, I think over the summer, I'm going to have to use my organisation skills and try and make a timetable with my son. Maybe he can show me some of his football skills. So stay tuned after the summer. You never know. What about Discovery House? How did you get on? Yeah, so I think I managed to use my initiative. Um, I seeked out some help from, from uh, another member of staff to help uh, we with improving my, my juggling skills. And as you'll see in the video, I have managed to improve. Um, I think a top tip for me would be to throw from the palm rather than throwing from my hands because it was flying around everywhere. Um, but as a team, I think we've all seen each other's videos and I think everyone will agree that Mrs. Blanford, you've definitely made the most progress. Um, and at Cantel this year, we've had a high focus on employability skills. Yeah, a big well done to you. Um, so do you think any of the employability skills have really helped you to improve on your skill this year? Uh, thank you. And yes, definitely. So not only did I show resilience because I had to persevere to make sure that that plate kept spinning, uh, I used my initiative to watch some YouTube videos to learn how other people spin plates. And I think that's really helped me to develop my skill. Fantastic. Well done. Um, as a house team, I think we all agree, it's been absolutely fantastic watching your videos, guys. We've had loads of entries from staff and from students from every house, um, and it's been really, really good fun to kind of judge this and see all of the different things from Rubik's Cubes to making Lego models to riding on our bikes to skipping and, and countless things. Um, but we have to all pick a winner. Um, so, Pioneer House, have you managed to pick a winner from your wonderful entry? Yes, as you said, Mr. Richardson, it was very tough looking at uh, some of the skills entries um, that were put forward. But uh, on judgment, I think uh, for creativity reasons, um, it is going to be Alexandra from 8PD. So for their Lego uh, model, well done, Alexandra. Okay, so for Endeavour House, I would like to congratulate Obeda from 8EV. Uh, he developed his skills of uh, with the tennis racket and the tennis ball. So big well done. And thank you to everybody else who um, also submitted entries into this challenge. Voyager from House. Voyager House. Ooh, from Voyager House, I would like to congratulate. So we had so many entries. So thank you so much for all your entries. But I would like to congratulate Isaac from 9EV with some epic skipping skills and we also had Malisha from 8EV with I have no idea how she did this but mad whistling skills they were amazing and I would like to then pass over to Discovery House how did you guys do? Oh, absolutely fantastic we had countless entries um, it was really good to judge but it does have to be a winner um, and Hannah from 10GG2, with her poise spinning in her Discovery House colours, is my definite winner. So well done to everyone who entered. Those guys that have won, there is a small prize, and we'll sort that out maybe next year. Um, but well done, and I'm going to hand over to you, to Miss Mitsubiri, for an employability update. So just to remind you that over the summer, you are going to meet some challenges. But remember, your employability skills will help you to overcome these challenges, okay? So you meet a challenge, employ any of your employability skills and they will help you overcome those challenges. 
And remember, if you need help, don't be afraid to ask. Okay, so our final uh, assembly house point leaderboard is finally here. So in fourth place, Endeavour House. Congratulations everybody in Endeavour House, which means Voyager, you have gone up to third yeah. place. Well, well done. done Voyager. Well done Voyager. <laughs> so the top, top spot. Discovery House, you are second. Oh. Which means Pioneer, you are first place. Well done. Congratulations, <laughs> Mr. Gosney. How do you feel? I feel very well. I Yeah, that's excellent work. Well done, Pioneer House. We are hashtag number one. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that leaves me to kind of wrap up our last assembly. Um, just want to leave you with a bit of a note to say, uh, keep staying safe. Um, keep up with your home learning, even if it's the last couple of weeks going now, guys. Um, but do remember uh, to follow the social guidance guidelines that have been sent out to you. Um, please make sure now going into the summer months that we're looking after our um, UV protection out in the sun and also you're staying away, you're staying away from railway tracks and things like that. So, um, yeah, stay safe, follow the social distancing guidelines and uh, we will see you after the summer. Okay. Stay safe. Happy See you later, guys. Stay safe, everybody. Bye. 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 And a huge hello to the Cantel community. Hope you're all safe and well. And welcome back to the Cantel Skills Challenge update. Outtake number 101, if only. More like 201. If anything, I can definitely say that I've been resilient. So, anyway, last time out you saw me with two of these. And this time out you're going to see me have a go with three of these. And I've seeked out some help from a certain Mr G who's given me some top tips. So let's see if they really do improve my game. So we're going to start off with two again then. One, two... One, two, one, two. Now we're going to throw in the third one. Anything can happen. Come on, Discovery, get behind me. Ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two. We're going to go for ten. Last go. Here we go. Ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. Come on, we can do this. One, two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh! Anyway, house leaders, I'm really looking forward to your feedback. And who knows, next time I may be back with four. It's good, keep going. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> <laughs>